All right, uh, just gone quarter past seven here on the programme. Uh, Durban have been announced as the official hosts of the 2022 Commonwealth Games. This, of course, is yet another first for Africa. Durban bid chairman and the South African Rugby Union Vice President Mark Alexander budgeted 6.4 billion rand. Now, the decision was announced a couple of minutes ago in New Zealand, and we'll cross to our reporter, Tobisa uh, Sutole, when uh, Valen gives us our sports news in just a few minutes. But we've still got the minister with us here, Fikile Mbalula, getting his reaction and just some comments ahead of it. So we heard the budget for the Games, Minister, and thank you very much for staying with us just to talk about it. This budget, what... what contribution is this uh, what is government's requirement with, when it comes to the, the the contribution of this budget well uh, we contribute over 60 percent in terms of the budget uh, because we will be responsible for the infrastructure of uh, like i said uh, building houses and all of that uh, but there are other things out of that budget we're going to negotiate which i'm not going to speak about now uh, with the CW, I mean the Commonwealth Games uh, people, uh, in order for us to, to, to benefit out of it, broadcasting rights uh, and all of that. So um, it's a very good prospect uh, for South Africa because uh, we're negotiating from a position of strength. Unlike when FIFA came here, everything was imposed. Yeah. And all what we had to do was to spend. But everything that we're going to spend as government is aligned to our developmental trajectory and objectives already in the pipeline. So there's no new money because there will not be any new money given the economic meltdown and all of that. So we're organizing the Commonwealth within our means and within our tight budget and, and so on going forward. All right, so seven years until we are the hosts and uh, no doubt it's going to be an unbelievable event once again. Minister, while I've got you here, and I think it's very, very important that we talk about what's about to happen today, we've got a party called the Agency for New Agenda uh, uh, basically filing an urgent application on Friday to stop the box from going to the World Cup because of uh, the look of the squad. Obviously, it's directed pretty much so at you. What is your reaction to this? No, I think uh, we will oppose that um, in terms of that application. And nobody should stop the Springboks from going to the World Cup. Um, we have had the concerns of the people in relation to the question of transformation. It's not just concerns. It reflects the impatience. Uh, you know, in the past 20 years with regard to the reflection of the demographics in this team and all of that. But as a Ministry of Sport, we are not caught, you know, offside. We are already on the road of addressing transformation. The fact that there was 10 years of lull and non-attendance to the matter is partly now, you know, hitting us negatively. But for the squad going to the World Cup, I think uh, you have almost 10 players in the squad, uh, which are African black and generic black uh, in the team. I think it is a good, uh, it is a good uh, gesture, but over and above, those players will also get the game time uh, in the team, but it doesn't end with the World Cup. Mm. It starts with what we have already started and agreed to do with Saru, which uh, are the dimensions which are building result already. If you look at the franchises and all of that, the fundamental question has been, can these players be fielded and play in the national team? Which is why, among others, the squad was brought under attack by the broader progressive civil society in South Africa. Is it possible, and, and, and I'll wrap up the conversation now, is it possible that to see transformation within sports, politics has to be out of it? Because you see... Uh, and uh, again, uh, politics again playing uh, with the Freedom Front Plus approaching the British High Commission saying that uh, they need their help in trying to keep the government out of the selection of players and they must just let the game go. Will we ever see transformation taking place if that is the case? No, transformation will take place. You will have uh, that situation because South Africa, you know, we are united in our diversity. There's all sort of interests, conservative, backward, and then intransigent and rigid. But uh, there's also the other side that says that we have the capacity and we're impatient. Now we need to take steps to enforce transformation. We will take those steps based on our transcripts that we have agreed in terms of transformation and the targets uh, with SARU, which are signed on the dotted lines. So we, we, are, we are moving. And in this particular regard, I'm confident that uh, 
will even move with the necessary speed uh, going forward. There's no question of politics. It's a question of how we relate to transformation in relation to what we have inherited. The conditions that transformation is taking place are not those that we have chosen for ourselves. It has to happen whether other people like it or not. To go to England, I was taken aback. You know, it's more like a colonial mentality to ask the British to intervene in our squad. On the 8th of this month, let's unite behind the Springboks and support the team. And uh, I'm definitely sure we'll bring back uh, the cup back home. And I'm quite confident that the boys will do their bit. Let's go, South Africa. Indeed. Love that message. Great way to end this interview. Minister, have a great day. It's going to be a great day here in South Africa, no doubt. After this announcement that South Africa is going to be the host of the 2022 Commonwealth Games, thank you so much for joining us. It's always a pleasure having you, you. on the program. Uh, Valen, you've been watching this very, very carefully. I'm sure there was a, a great atmosphere in the newsroom as well. As soon as this was announced, Durban has exploded with excitement, no doubt. Uh, to be so Sotole is there, right, Vela? Thank you very much.